All right, welcome back to Velshi and Rule. The White House is taking heat this morning over its latest reversal of Obama-era policy. The administration is lifting the 2014 ban on importing big game trophies from Africa, including products made from elephant tusks and elephant heads. The decision is strongly criticized by animal rights groups, but a spokesperson from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service says the controversial move will help the animals, hmm. but will it? Joining us now, biologist and wildlife conservationist, Jeff Corwin. Jeff, help me. Yeah. When I saw this headline, I immediately turned to Twitter and said, please explain to me why this is a good forward-thinking move, because I don't see it. Well, I, yeah. Well, I guess, guys, the argument of how it could help is if, for example, if you'd reflect on the American model of wildlife use and conservation, the idea that wildlife, deer and turkeys and elk and landscape has an aesthetic value, a cultural value, an environmental value, and an economic value. And for example, in the United States, billions of dollars are generated every year for um, hunting tickets and licenses and uh, public land use, and that money is used to reclimate habitat and rest restore species. For example, New Hampshire, 90 percent of their budget comes from um, ticket licenses and uh, landscape use and access to wildlife. The difference is, in the United States, we have the checks and balances to ensure that there isn't any funny business. Now compare that to a place like Zimbabwe, or uh, to Namibia, uh, is, the, is there the infrastructure in place to ensure that uh, everything is being done as it's supposed to be? The other argument is this. When a creature is critically endangered on the brink of extinction, is there ever an argument to make it available for sports hunting. Right, so the issue is creating a market for something that we are trying to convince people, whether it's elephant tusks or elephant heads or uh, rhino <coughs> bones or uh, whales or shark fin, that it becomes hard to control once you've started a market because you can't uh, reverse and accelerate on that because then the product just becomes more expensive and then these things become hunted illicitly. Look, the black market wildlife trade around the world is a $20 billion a year industry. The elephant population is under duress. It is being hunted to near brink of extinction on our current course for the ivory trade. The population in Africa has plummeted in a decade by 30 percent. We now only have about 300,000 African elephants remaining. In one of the countries that is now open up for the importation of these hunting exports from big game hunting, Zambia, their population of elephants in about a decade has decreased from 200,000 animals to 30,000. So how we manage these species really comes down to adequate conservation and is dealing with issues like preserving habitat, climate change, working with folks that are connected to the human animal uh, black market trade. This is how we protect these species. All right, Jeff, good to talk to you. Thank you for uh, enlightening us on what this is all about. Wildlife conservationist uh, Jeff Corwin joining us now. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.